Slam viewers, how are you? So this is video going to show you how I used my Pilot G2 gelling in ball paint fill of Parker, and it was it will be really a great combination. You will enjoy it. This is the Parker. Actually, it has some light issue that's why it's not showing very well now. It's showing it. That is Parker standard ball paint refill. This is Pilot G2, okay, and this one is standard refill, clean flow refill. And with this pair, I'm going to open the pint or nib, whatever you say. This is better to say it's pint, it's much more than nib actually. Okay, it's separated now, and I'm showing you there's no ink inside. Okay, I'll give it proof by pouring this needle inside the refill, and you'll see. There is no suction at all. It is still draw uh, light. Then you can see a pint only the ink on the remaining ink on the sides is shown. Okay, and I removed it from the needle. Actually, it's a totally vacant refill, not working at all. So, this is the first version. I took Pilot G2, opened it up from front. Keep it in mind. Please try to open it from front and with the plier I removed that one because it will help you save your ink and this is a difficult task here you are seeing ink is coming out inside the string but it really it's a difficult task you have to make a vacuum and gel ink is not like roller ball pen inks where that is so that is so much less viscous gel ink is much viscous and it's really difficult to pour it inside a syringe by a simple just a little syringe making mechanism I believe it I must have used 5 switch syringe but I, at that time I only had 3 switch syringe that's why I tried this experiment with this 3 switch syringe and you're seeing it's pouring inside the syringe and now I have filled it out now the second step we come to the normal speed and I'm going to fill this refill as much as possible with this one. Gel G2 ink. And we're seeing I'm pouring very gel ink is difficult to pour. Really I see. And at last to difficult really. It takes much power. But by applying so much pressure it might pour on ourselves so it's getting inside you're seeing going going and i think it's full failed yes you're saying it's now it's over and i'm going to wipe it out and putting the refill on it just a minute wiping it out cleansing the upper part and now pushing the nib or point inside it and then applying pressure so it gets fit inside it totally now you're saying the, the speed and the smoothness really it's great it's combination of the remaining queen flu ballpoint with gel due to refill and you're seeing it totally and now you can using this method easily fill your pilot g2 ink inside the parker one okay that's great or you can use by this method you can choose any gel pen ink like pentel zebra as you wish if you are so much obsessed with the executive pens so this is a little comparison of both things pilot g2 pure and the parker with the kind little bit mixture with ballpoint and gel pen refill so this is parker with pilot g2 and this is purely pilot g2 okay and you are seeing the darkness while g2 ink is much darkness but the parker with pilot g2 is less dark but more smooth and it is more fast drying than the pure pilot g2 ink Okay, I'm showing you mixture, and you'll see that the upper one is much better. Now this is smudging, 
this is not this is not smelling so that's great combo remind me in your prayers and we'll meet you in the next video inshallah Allah Hafiz